go. The main event, Nathan Train, Brian Tyre, Adam Townsend. Five, five minute rounds, three FC, featherweight title on the line. Cody Gwynn, Roy Sanders, and it's main event time here at 3FC 20. And Primetime has two losses. They are both out of state. This is the toughest opponent Primetime's ever fought at 3FC. Len Weir, a veteran of the XFC. Shout out to John Prisco for allowing us to use Len Weir here tonight for the 3FC featherweight title, our first ever pro championship. Kind of filling each other out right now. Land will really look at the establisher jab. Land where will have the reach advantage in this fight. He has a smaller featherweight. Primetime's actually not been a featherweight for a little bit, kind of 155, 150, now he's back down to where I think he's best. Oh, good shot from Land. We are there. Tagged Townsend a bit. Oh, and here comes Land. We but Townsend gets his legs, and there's a big takedown from Adam Townsend. And he's right in the mouth. And Townsend's going to make sure we don't need five rounds here tonight. That is what he's working on. Land did get back to half guard. This place is electric for our main event here tonight. Townsend working from half guard. And Len Weir, known for his stand up, his knockout power, very underrated jujitsu. He's got a very good ground game. And Len Weir's got two career losses one is an amateur, a decision, and one is a pro, a decision. And both have some question marks around them. Townsend's two losses, also questionable, both out of state and with ring of combat. So, neither man ever been finished. There's a guillotine. That's deep. Can Townsend finish? No. Landor did exactly what he needed to do, but he's still in trouble. Oh, good knee to the chest of Landor from Townsend. I see blood on the neck of Nate Landwehr. Not sure if his neck's bleeding or if Townsend is bleeding. And we are back to our feet here. Good knee from Landwehr. Landwehr was in deep trouble in the mount earlier and has got back to his feet. That is in trouble with the guillotine as well and survived that. So he don't need any, but he may be gaining confidence in this fight. Good knee from Landwehr, and actually Landwehr is now switched up, and he has got Townsend against the cage. Blood from Townsend's nose, maybe from a headbutt. Good shot from Landwehr. Townsend, though, back at it here. Oh, good stuff, though, from Landwehr. He's still got a single leg, though, Townsend does. Townsend very strong with his takedowns. Got him in the air. Here we go. Jumps him on his head. Big takedown from Adel Townsend. Townsend has Landwehr in his own corner now, listening to Dustin Walden. And we'll remind our fans watching this again, five five-minute rounds. Three FC featherweight championship on the line, two of the best professionals in the state of Tennessee. Townsend versus Landwehr. Townsend in control on top here in half guard. And there's blood on Landwehr's face. That may be Townsend's blood, though. Landwehr's trying to get his back against the cage. And Nate being grinded on by Townsend. Townsend very good at this. This is this is Townsend 101, honestly. This is, oh, but this is not Landwehr back to his feet. Be interested to see if Landwehr continues with this. We're trying to break free to strike some more. There we go. Townsend switches it right back around, though. Townsend very, very strong 
for the 145 weight class. Foot stop from Townsend here. 10 seconds left here in the first round. They talking to Townsend on the cage. Hell, no surprise here to see them jawing back and forth. Oh man, and we're going at it. Landwehr didn't want to touch gloves. Landwehr wants to fight. What a first round. One of five here in our 3FC 20 main event. Roy, you're judging. Who do you give it to? Townsend won round one just based on control. But Landwehr seems to be rallying there at the end of the round. So look for round two to be explosive. I want to point out a corner at the Townsend's corner is Casey Oxendine, Dustin Walden, Caleb Cup, and Dustin Long. You ever seen a corner like that? <laughs> a lot of guys from different gyms. Landwehr here, opening up the second round, good standing. I would say from what I've seen, Landwehr's probably got a stand up advantage here. And as I say that, Landwehr pushes forward. Body language just seems different already. Sure. He's much more aggressive. He knows now he can't afford to go to the ground because it is near impossible to get Big Al Townsend off of you. Landwehr got taken down, go back to his feet twice, but was unable to break away from Townsend. And from a judge's standpoint, that's a that's a big thing. And for the first time in this fight, Landwehr has lost a braid. <laughs> well, that would not bother him one bit as he is going to continue to fire. Big uppercut from Landwehr, and Townsend moves in for a takedown. And Landwehr would love to use knees for this position, but Townsend, will, that would make it easier for him to get a takedown. Landwehr doing a good job right now, though, staying on his feet. Landwehr now switches to in control, and he's going to break away. That's good from Landwehr. That's exactly what, oh, good stiff jab. We're actually across from Landwehr. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're swinging now. Townsend throwing bombs. The eye busted up on Adam Townsend here in the second round. If Landwehr stops the takedowns, it's going to kill Adam's will. And Adam, not bad on his feet. Big uppercut. This place is going crazy for our main event. And now Landwehr in for a takedown. Oh, big shot from Landwehr. And we're back out again. Big overhand from Landwehr. He's kind of throwing whipping uppercuts. Both guys content with boxing, not a lot of leg kicks. Here. We're surprised. We've seen Townsend in the past really execute good leg kicks. And we know Landwehr's got some things up his sleeve. Oh, but there's some shots from Townsend. These guys are going at it. Leg kick, there's one from Townsend. Doesn't really hit with that much force. An outside one, still not a lot of force on it. Townsend's legs on, sure the ones that don't look bad, still pretty bad. Oh, misses. Landwehr was winning this round, but Townsend's closing the gap. Very close round for both men. Peters to see if Townsend attempts another takedown before the end of the round. Looks like a, a little cut on the face of Townsend under his eye. Already it seems like we land we are much fresher here than Townsend. But Townsend's still so strong in the clinch. And that would be huge in a round like this. It looks like he may get it here. No. Wow! Landwehr, impressive takedown defense here. Very agile. Nonetheless, though, Towson controlling the action here, and that will still be big in the judges' eyes. Landwehr, though, right as that as said, he switches. 
the corner of Landwehr wants to take down to probably solidify this round. We are inching closer to the end here of the second round. Oh, and Landwehr breaks free. Blood on the lip of Landwehr, but again, could be Townsend's, as nasty as that is. The blood coming from Townsend's nose and the side of his face. Big shots in for both guys. Oh, big shot from Landwehr. Oh, another nice combo from Landwehr. He's teeing off, man. Prime time, though. Eat him. Oh, another big shot. Combos from Landwehr. Landwehr's finishing strong here. Oh, but a takedown as the round comes to a close. Wow. I hate to do this to you, Roy. Who won that round? I'm going to go with Nate the Train on that one. Uh, Townsend got that takedown with about five seconds left. But the whole last minute, Landwehr was really teeing off there and had Townsend hurt. Might not, just don't want to play into him, but we'll see. I mean, this is Landwehr 101. He, he loves this. He loves that he's in enemy territory. We're now at the schoolyard. Yep. He wasn't yelling the train. He was yelling prime time. Third round underway here. Good head movement from time. Prime time getting out of the way of that one. Leg kick from Townsend. He ducked down and the uppercut almost connected, but. Oh, a little front snap kick from Landwehr doesn't land. Oh, we heard it in the corner. Half a second later, Towson gets the takedown. But Landwehr's got a butterfly and he may be able to sweep out here, but he does not. He is pull full guard here on Adam Towson. Uh oh. Our bar tip from Nate Landwehr. It's hard to see from this angle where it's at. He is, Adam is in his corner though. If Townsend pushes into him, he should be okay, but looks like he's out. And he looks good now. And as we mentioned earlier, in his corner, Townsend's worked a lot on his jujitsu with Casey Oxendine. And Casey Oxendine right there in Townsend's ear as Townsend is back in the guard, the open guard of Nate Landwehr. That's interesting, the guard is open, but no one's telling him to pass. Well, we're using the cage, probably gonna try to get back to his feet. And Townsend is gonna try to pull him away here. And it looks like he may try to step into guard as he does right there. Or step into mount, I'm sorry. If he gets mount in his corner, that's gonna be very good for a time. We've seen some interesting mount escapes tonight. Now Prom has got a really good head and arm choke. So let's see if he might try to get there. As you mentioned, we I mean they're in the primetime corner all day. Landwehr trying to roll. Trying to get up his back, maybe. Prime Time's got a very good rear naked choke, as we've seen in the past as well. I think Prime Time's got a good everything, but Landwehr does as well. And he's out. Wow. Landwehr's very impressive here tonight. Explosive. Very explosive. One pop of the hip, and it's not only back on his feet. He's in control. Look at the body shots. Wow. And Landwehr knew that he was coming. Look here. And uh, not quite a full takedown, but Landwehr in control as of now. Prime time kind of really starting to slow down just a bit here. And we're going to go back to our feet. And this is where Landwehr wants to be. Oh, what a. These are shots from Landwehr, man. Knee to the thigh, knee to the face. Big shots. The train. Oh, but Townsend. He's got a single leg. Interesting against the cage a moment ago. I believe Nate felt Adam was a little sluggish and started teeing off. Now he finds himself against the cage again. And Landwehr is all eyes on his corner here as he tries to not get taken down yet again in this fight. He switches right over, and it wasn't even that hard. So that, that's kind of worrisome if you're a primetime fan. And those knees are to the thigh. Josh Ward taking a close look, making sure they are not low.
clinch here for Taz the Body Shot. Wow. Townsend did sneak an E through to the face there. The boxing of Landwehr has been impressive tonight. From a guy who we've seen spinning kicks, head kicks, his boxing has been spot on against Adam Townsend. I do see a little cut right over the lip of Landwehr, nothing significant. And we are back into the striking mode. And the punches are a little slower from Towson now. It's very noticeable. Towson's dangerous, though, at all times. And now, actually, Landwehr is kind of slowing down a bit as well. His hands are dropping as well. Oh, that's a good knee. That's another good knee. A jumping knee. Oh, we are going at it. We are going at it. In Pigeon Forge. Oh, I think it was a Muay Thai clinch, but he tripped. And Townsend is up on top. That is a best case scenario for Adam Townsend. Yeah, he really lucked up on that one. This place, no one's on their seat. We are going to championship rounds. For the first time in 3MC history, we go to a fourth round in a professional fight. All right. Who won that round? Once again, Townsend got a takedown at the end, but Nate, Nate Landwehr had a lot of good work against the cage, landed a lot of knees, a lot of striking early on. I mean, we're, in, we're close to the Townsend's territory, but that takedown at the end just wasn't enough for me. I think it's two to one Landwehr. Not for 100%, but I well, actually I am 100%, but this is the first time either man has went to championship rounds as a pro. Nate Landwehr was involved in a five-round amateur fight here against Anthony Morgan, in which he, like you said earlier, lost a split decision. And a lot of people, especially around Landwehr's camp, thought that was a fight that was a hometown decision, to say the least. Was a, another, a, one of those close fights where it went either way. That was a good jab from Landwehr. Good uppercut, good combo from Landwehr. And Landwehr shakes off a punch there. And Townsend kind of dropping his level, changing levels here. Could set up a takedown. Earlier, Townsend would go to the body, then go for the shot. Well, Landwehr is doing more damage to himself right now. He wants to fight. Leg kick. There's a good leg kick from Nate Landwehr. We're, we're going out of here. And uh, again, a little bit of a surprise. Landwehr going for the takedown. Breaks off, knee to the body. Look for another one of those jumping knees. We're having earlier though, we may not see a hard Muay Thai clinch. Good elbows though from Towson. And we're back clinched up here. Landwehr, look at here. Throw it, it's unorthodox, but it, it, it's working. This crowd really needs to get behind Townsend if they want to see him do better this round. I am here, and we're right dead in the middle of both sections, and Team Townsend, oh, look at here. Woo! And we're, we're fighting. You said schoolyard, we're, we're there. Oh, Townsend didn't like that. We're shooting in for a takedown. Interesting. And we're getting it. Spit out his mouthpiece. That, very odd. And I don't know if Josh Ward's seen it or not, or Josh Ward's like, you talking, I don't know. Mouthpiece the center of the cage. We're once again in the guard of Landwehr. Townsend on top, right dead in the corner of prime time. Adam Townsend. Josh Ward will stop the action here probably shortly to get the mouthpiece back. Landwehr really paid for that little action there. The and, and you said prime time's camp needs to get behind him. Landwehr is puffing up Adam Townsend, I feel like, with that. But you know, Landwehr wants to fight, and he wants a brawl. And these guys working hard for position. Landwehr open guard again, kind of kind of putting his feet in the ankles, maybe trying to stretch out or maybe try to sweep here. Townsend may be just content to stay there. And from a judge's standpoint, you know, maybe the smart thing to do. But Landwehr not going to do that for long. He's back to his feet. Townsend has oh. double unders. And we're going back down. 
And he's a little closer to Mount. A butterfly for Landwehr. And Landwehr. Landwehr's like, put it in my mouth. Wow. That probably sounded really odd on audio, but that's what he's saying. <laughs> Prime time. Lewers up again. Could we see a third takedown? We will. And that is big for Adam Townsend. And again, you know, you worry if Landwehr getting excited there was all Townsend needed to say, okay. Full mount. Oh, but he's sneaking out the back. Landwehr is crafty and explosive on the ground, as you mentioned. Are they talking again? I can't really tell. I believe so. But looky here, Landwehr, Landwehr is in mount. This is crazy. These guys, are we gonna get up? Let's do it. Let's fight, we're getting up. He just wants his mouthpiece back. That's all he was, and he wants to fight. Here we go. Yep, here we go. We're swinging for the fences now, Landwehr. Combo, punches and bunches. out his eyes, starting to show the signs of fatigue. Landwehr starting to show the signs that he wants to fight. Townsend not backing down though. Good combos from Landwehr. Townsend's punch is coming a lot slower now. Landwehr as explosive. And ladies and gentlemen, fifth and final round. Townsend was on top a lot in that round. Are we at 2 2 if you're judging? We are at 2 2. I've got to give tails of that round. I would say over half of it. He was on top. Landwehr was in guard. I've got to give it to Tails. Proud time. The train. One. More round, five more minutes. Here we go. The prime time section on their feet. Land weird section dialed in. The corner telling Land we're not to throw his hands up. Oh, that knee landed. He's got that pretty deep. He's got his hands. I think it's a single leg, single leg attempt from Townsend. Landwehr does have an underhook. And Landwehr changes position. And a clinch battle, and Landwehr don't want it. We're gonna throw punches here, we're boxing. No doubt in this whole fight, the striking is all the way to Landwehr. Landwehr's actually punching the punches away from Adam Townsend. Whoa, almost a headbutt there. Townsend deep on another single. Elbows to the head. A little slap boxing going on for Landwehr. For those who've never felt it, that to the ear is really painful. It's very aggravating too. Townsend. Townsend in deep. Again, one thing Townsend's done amazing at, being in his own corner. There's a takedown. That was huge. We got more blood on our table. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. Somebody's bleeding. Probably from Townsend's nose. Townsend though in half guard on top. And in our fifth and final round like this, this is huge. Landward's got to find a way back to his feet regardless of what they think about the judges here and the decisions. Townsend, one of the strongest guys on top. Prime time continuing to work. Trying to get, it's an open half guard here. Townsend not yet transitioning to Mount. Uh, maybe a sweep coming from Landwehr, but he can't get quite over. I say Cage might have been in the way there. I think ref just gave a warning. Referee Josh Ward just warning Townsend to work. 
I'd say about two minutes into this round now. Three more minutes to fight. Lander has got to get up from this position if he wants to win this fight. Dustin Wilder into the corner of Battle Townsend asking for more, for more shots. Explosive is Landwehr, but Townsend staying very heavy on top here. He knows. The cage is there for Landwehr, though, to try to get up. Landwehr is working at it. Landwehr, for the first time tonight, looks like he may be tired. Tired and maybe a little... Maybe a little defeated of sorts knowing this fifth of battle round, and he's stuck on his back. But he's working up the cage. Big shots from Townsend. Big shots. He's got his back. Landwehr gets out of that quickly. Townsend fans starting to make a little noise here. As you can hear, Brown Time in full force here at 3FC 20. Townsend is working. He is working. Lentworth's got to get up here. And he's trying his hardest. Townsend may be tired, but he is staying so heavy on top. Lentworth is in big trouble here. But look at here. Wow. I think he may be out of time, though. Maybe a minute, maybe a minute 30 left here. Townsend may be trying to get one takedown. It looked like that was Landwehr maybe trying to pull out a submission here. Oh, but he lost it. There's a lot of sweat. Ten seconds left. Towson's finishing strong. Adam Towson. Yes, sir. Wow. Wow. That's an amazing fight. That may be the best fight in 3FC history. Very pivotal point in that round when Landwehr threw his hands up and threw that gesture. I agree 100%. As you just mentioned that the SSF crowd was getting louder. Landwehr was getting comfortable. And we got Nate the Train, we got Primetime Chance. Cyrus Steves will have the hardest job in this building to announce the winner of this fight. What final time tonight, Roy? Who won this fight? I've got Adam Townsend three rounds to two. We will see if the judges agree. If it's not, if it's not 100%, let's do it again. We'll be back May 10th, let's do it again. We await the biggest decision, maybe in 3FC history. I think both men have a very solid argument to who won this fight, too. I agree. The one round, like I said, that I think it may have been the fourth round, I mean, could have went either way, but I just leaned toward Townsend due to the takedown. Cyrus Fees is on deck. Ladies and gentlemen, for Cody Gwynn and Roy Sanders, we send it to Cyrus Fees for the official 3FC 20 main event decision. Who will be the first 3FC Pro champion?
Oh, come on. Oh, come on. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I like the count. But if y'all people don't listen, you know what I'm saying? There you go, ladies and gentlemen.